Hey there, Brian Goulet, Goulet Pen Company. I just wanted to show you some of the new stuff that we just got in. We just uh, recently became retailers for four new brands, Conklin, Monteverde, Stipula, and Delta. Uh, we got a whole slew of new inks and a few pens to test out, some that we're just going to kind of try out for ourselves and some that we're going to carry ongoing. Um, it's June of 2012 right now, so we're just kind of dipping our toes in the water with these brands. But anyway, I wanted to kind of just give you a quick tour as I have everything kind of laid out here and I just did up the ink swabs. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to just show you what's up. So let's do that. Okay, let's first go with Monteverde. Monteverde is um, a 90 milliliter bottle, so it's about the same size as a Noodler's bottle. And it's a pretty affordable ink. Um, they tout this ITF technology, which I believe is some kind of lubrication that's made. They have, a, they have an ink roller ball, a couple different ink roller ball pens. Um, and they have, you know, 10 different colors that are all pretty interesting. They have green, purple, turquoise, blue, pink, blue, black, red, brown, burgundy, and black. The most notable ones probably are the turquoise one is pretty interesting. Um, the blue, black, is a grayer blue black if you tend to like those like, very similar to like a Schaefer blue black the pink is actually pretty neat too um, it's got some really good shading so in the burgundy um, not a whole lot of reds quite in that shade so that's kind of interesting um, the next one we have is Delta now this bottle probably looks familiar it's very similar to the Pelican 4001 bottle but uh, that's Delta they have six colors blue, green, black, brown, yellow, and red. The yellow is very bright. That's going to be one of those. I don't know if you're going to be able to use it for anything, but, you know, it's kind of interesting. Stipula has a 70 mil bottle here. Um, these inks are technically refill inks for their Netto system. Uh, I do not have the Netto system here to demonstrate, but perhaps it's something I'll do in a future video. But anyway, um, it's some kind of refilling system that they have. I'm not even all that familiar with it yet. But they have six different colors of ink. Um, up here they have musk green, ebony black, florentine red, dark red, deep blue, and saffron. Saffron's pretty nice. It's a nice kind of a golden yellow. Musk green is interesting. Um, that one is kind of a greenish brown. Uh, kind of like an old gold grin a little bit. Uh, so that's that's interesting there. And then I have some pens to show you. Um, the first of which is the Monteverde Artista Crystal. It's a relatively new pen that's kind of hit the scene. It's getting some good reviews out there. It's in the $40 price range. Um, it's a cartridge converter pen. It does come with a converter and it is only in a medium nib. But it's kind of a neat looking pen um, and from what I hear uh, it writes pretty well, so I'll be testing that more thoroughly. Um, another popular Monteverde pen is the Invincia. It's kind of an interesting uh, pattern here. This is actual carbon fiber. Uh, it's lacquered over. Uh, it's very nice looking, very classy. I love the overall shape. It's very, um, very pleasing to me. And then, um, you know, it's got, uh, this one is rose gold. Uh, they have four different nib types they have a fine medium broad and then a 1.1 millimeter stub and from what I'm hearing the stub is pretty smooth one of the one of the better ones out there um, you know another neat one they have is the carbon fiber with black this is called the titanium but uh, what's neat about Monteverde is they have um, some black colored nibs to match their pens as well like that one for example so that one looks kind of stealthy and kind of cool <coughs> um, Another really kind of interesting pen that Monteverde has is it's called the uh, One One Touch Engage. Now this is a refillable rollerball pen, so uh, operates very similar to some of the other refillable rollerballs out there, except that it takes a standard international cartridge, which is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, and the standard international converter is what it's on here now. The, um, the ball tip is more of like a medium tip. It's got a very generous flow. So that is a very welcome thing. I'm going to try to assemble this pen with one hand while I hold the camera. Let's see if I can do it here. But um, this pen is a little more expensive. It's pushing $100. But I'll show you the coolest part about it here in a minute. If I can get this on here. Okay. So the pen itself is again carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. Um, there's your click, so that retracts and 
and all that. Um, but this one touch part at the top, this is a uh, conductive rubber material. So if you have a, um, you know, an eye device or some kind of touch device, let me see if I can grab my phone here. Um, you know, there's my daughter. Uh, so you can use it to kind of touch the um, stuff. Normally, if you have, uh, here we go, let's pop open Angry Birds. So normally if you have, you know, a conductive, or if you have like a rubber touch thing, you need like the, um, the, the electricity in your finger. That's how these things swipe. But this rubber itself is, um, is what uh, does the conductive part. So let me go ahead and fling a bird. Whee! Okay, so anyway, that's that. So the one touch engage is kind of cool. And they also have the Invincia with that rubber one touch part on the top of it. So that's kind of neat. These are all the pens that we're going to carry regularly just for now. But there's a couple other pens that I wanted to just show you that Rachel and I bought for ourselves that we're going to test out and play with. One of which is uh, the Conklin Herringbone. It's got a, uh, it's lacquered with a uh, metal, kind of a hammered metal pattern, this little, you know, swirly herringbone type thing. So that is kind of neat. Um, uh, so we're going to test that out. Rachel got the pink, I got the yellow, just because I don't have a lot of yellow pens. I thought, what the heck. Um, the Stipula Model T, this is kind of a classic looking Stipula. Actually, it doesn't, doesn't look too drastically different from the Premier, now that I'm looking at it, but uh, kind of interesting. But uh, the uh, nib on this pen is their titanium... Uh, T-Flex nib, um, and this one worked kind of interesting. Uh, it's it's not quite designed the same as like a Noodler's Flex because the slit doesn't go all the way up. It's more like a, a Namiki Falcon or one of the Platinum Modern Machiers. But you can see that nib does flex there. So this is an interesting nib that I look forward to playing around with quite a bit. Uh, another pen is the Stipula Passaporto. That one is kind of like a little Kaweco in that it's a small pen. Um, it uh, does not take a converter. It's cartridge only, or you can, uh, I believe you can eyedropper fill it. I haven't played around with it too much, but that's one we've gotten asked about a little bit. Um, and then the Stipula Vado is a piston fill that's a little bit bigger than the Passaporto. And then the last thing that I have here is this pen that was a special order from a customer who was nice enough to let me kind of play around with it. Um, this is the Stipula Etruria Alter Ego. Gorgeous pen. Um, sterling silver accents, and this one has a T-Flex nib. So I definitely look forward to playing with this one. That one's piston fill as well. So um, lots of cool stuff. I'm definitely going to have a fun week playing with all these things. Uh, I'm working on these swabs. I'll get them up in the swab shot here shortly. And, uh, you know, this will bring our ink offering up to about 675 different colors. It's pretty crazy, but, you know, that's uh, we like ink. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my little tour here. I look forward to reviewing a lot of this stuff and showing you what this is all about here in the near future. Uh, thanks for watching, and right on.